Hi everyone, my name is Megan Tunerman. I'm going to be a junior this year at the College of Worcester. I am a Sociology and Environmental Studies double major, and I am here with Professor Newhoff. Do you want to introduce yourself? Hi, yeah. My name is John Newhoff. I teach in the Psychology Department and in the Neuroscience Program, and I've been here at the College for just about 20 years now. Amazing. So, of course, even though you've been at the college for you know, 20 years, this semester is going to look a little bit different, um, which is why we're here today. So, you know, the pandemic has made it so hybrid learning is a necessity, which is something, you know, virtual classes and other forms of remote learning is commonplace at Worcester now, which, you know, wasn't really in the past. Um, so, you know, as a student, I know that there are, you know, every student has, you know, very similar questions, students and families, you know, what is remote learning going to look like? Um, but I kind of wanted to start, you know, what are your thoughts on remote learning? You know, what can we expect? And do you think that it can be just as effective as in-person learning? So the, the medium that we're using um, is less important than the kind of core underlying principal values of a liberal, liberal arts ed education. So although we'd like to be face-to-face -face in the classroom all the time, um, and that's what we've done historically, um, it's obviously not possible that, to, to do it that way. But nothing is going to change with respect to the underlying principles of, of the kind of, of the college. Uh, we still believe in skeptical inquiry. We believe in diversity and inclusion. Um, and we're going to impart those things, um, whether it's through a Zoom meeting or a Teams meeting um, or in a tent on campus. So um, we're not going to change our, our, our underlying principles um, because we are now interacting more through a, a video medium. Yeah, which is definitely really reassuring to hear. Um, but I mean, obviously, some things do have to change. So, you know, what have, you know, how might your teaching or lesson plans kind of change to cater to this new online environment? So, um, in the fall, I'm going to have uh, 14 students who will be completely remote um, and will be in another part of the world, not in Worcester. Um, so, I'm, um, it, I'm teaching all my courses um, completely remotely. Um, so, um, it's going to be very different. Um, I'm recording um, some brief lectures um, that will be, um, I went out and got a green screen um, so I can look like I'm inside the uh, PowerPoint video just like your local weather person. Um, but then we're going to have um, online meetings um, to discuss. So it's going to be um, a little bit of a flipped situation rather, rather than me standing up in front of a class and talking for 50 minutes and then students going and kind of reading and doing work on their own. Um, we're going to have short videos of me kind of introducing topics and talking about some things. Um, and then the kind of face-to-face -face, um, video interaction is going to be um, online, obviously, um, but it's not going to be me talking at the students. It's going to be uh, more of an interactive um, thing that, that you would get in the classroom anyway, um, but it's, it's going to be a little bit different. Yeah, and that's definitely, I mean, the relationships are something that Worcester is really known for and is really important to Worcester. And so that sounds like a really great way um, to really maintain those relationships. Yeah, so I'm going to have small group meetings um, with my um, laboratory class. Um, so they're going to be broken into groups of about four. Um, and it'll be an individual meeting with um, which each of those um, separate lab groups um, once a week for the laboratory session, um, which is what I do in... Um, the kind of face-to-face -face format anyway. Um, but there are some advantages too. So, um, so yes, we're not face-to-face, -face, um, but a lot of times in those face-to-face -face meetings, it's, um, it's five of us kind of huddled around a laptop, um, kind of looking at data or, or designing an experiment. Um, and it's tough to do, right? Four or five people around a laptop. Here, we can kind of share a screen. Everybody has their own large screen. Um, so there are advantages to, uh, to both methods. Um, so we're going to kind of play up the advantages that we have um, in the online environment. Yeah, no, and that makes complete sense. You know, in some ways, it really is helpful and more beneficial for learning. Mm -hmm. um, so thank you so much. I really appreciated this time. Um, do you have kind of any last words to kind of reassure and just kind of share with the fa families and students of Worcester for this unprecedented semester? The way we do things is going to change. Why we do them and what we do is not going to change. Perfectly said. Thank you so much. Thank you.